What up everyone, Zonomar here coming at you with another video. Today I want to talk about an amazing article I read this morning from the Esports Observer from an author called Patrick Guerin. The title of the article is Blizzard Secures 6 Potential Investors for its Upcoming Overwatch League. So, I want to talk about Overwatch as an esports, I want to talk about what Blizzard is doing with Overwatch to grow the esports industry, and I want to talk about the deals they're trying to make with investors of um, traditional sports, which I think is fascinating, but something that is really open to a conversation. I feel like they're doing a lot of mistakes, and I want to point them out. First of all, what Overwatch is trying to do is literally what Riot Games is trying to do with um, League of Legends and LCS. They're trying to franchise, they're trying to get investors to buy slots for like up to 20 million dollars where Riot is asking for like 1 to 2 million dollars or like I don't know like there's insane numbers like that that are like super expensive. They they have like interested parties like the New England Patriots and the Mets from New York and they're asking for a lot of money from a lot of investors and Blizzard has a lot to show off. Of course, they have very successful esports. Uh, well, actually, they only have Hearthstone. And when you think about it, like Hearthstone is a video game that has a massive success in esports. But when you think about what Blizzard is doing within the entire industry, they had SC2, which is a game that was successful like early on, and it was like the very first step to esports, what it is today. Um, Heroes of the Storm was not a success, obviously. And all the game like World of Warcraft, I mean, there's some there's some competition there, but right now Blizzard is focusing on Hearthstone and Overwatch. And what the company is trying to do is that, well, while franchising has its good and bad, as I talked to you in another video, I feel like Blizzard is asking for a lot, a lot of money. And I don't think they understand that right now, Overwatch has absolutely no hype around any players, around any teams, around anything at all. And I feel like, I don't know what Blizzard is actually selling to those investors. I don't even know if those investors are really aware of what is happening within the industry. What is like, what is hyped, what is not, what are people looking for, what are the rankings on Twitch, how was the last uh, uh, events for Overwatch, all that stuff is so important and I feel like we're talking like millions and millions of dollars, like very, very long-term investment. Blizzard is going to do this, Blizzard is going to do that to develop the Overwatch competitive scene. But what tells you that people are actually going to watch it? Like we have no idea if people actually are going to tune in to Overwatch. And what I want to say is that I feel like Blizzard is taking like two, ten steps forward way too fast. And they're not trying to build from something small. Um, like when you saw the LCS like six years ago, it was way different than five years ago, than four years ago. They went from a little venue to have to having their own studios in Los Angeles and Berlin, and they grew, they grew, and they grew until like they reached today and they do like finals in big uh, big venues and stuff like. But this whole process took like six to seven years. Overwatch is what, like a year and a half, two years, it's a video game that has reached massive success, massive like sales in consoles and in PC, uh, and it's a good game overall, right? But now we're talking esports, I feel like not a lot of people are going to watch it. And I've already told you guys how the only effort that I see from Overwatch is the unwatchable experience from a viewer's perspective. And I don't know, nobody, no one talks about that, but... I, I don't want to tell you more about what I think, uh, this is really a conversation, so feel free to f add something in the comment down below. Are Is Blizzard doing going too fast, or are they right to get investors right now to develop a good infrastructures for Overwatch? I don't know, it feels really weird, to be honest. Like, they're talking about 2020, 2021, they're talking $20 million for prospective owner buy-ins, which, like, for me, like, is immense in the scale of esports industry. For NFL, NBA, of course it's peanuts, but for esports, it's like never seen before. And Overwatch is not even close from being the top three esports. Today, it's League of Legends, it's um, CSGO, and it's Hearthstone. That's literally what we see. We have Dota sometimes with big majors like the International and stuff. We do have Overwatch sometimes as well, but if you're not on the top three, I don't see why you should look for big, big investors like that. Plus, Blizzard has a past of not being so well and not performing really well in eSport, like 
um, Starcraft 2 was very badly managed by Blizzard. World of Warcraft PvP stuff was very poorly managed by Blizzard. Hearthstone is okay managed by Blizzard. I guess it works because of the community and all the streamers around it and stuff. Like, there's no thing that would tell me that this will work. Right now, I don't see anyone in my entourage that is hyped by Overwatch League Championship. Like, they don't have attached to a branding from, like, a team or from a player or anything. So, I don't see really how it goes. Like, I thought that was a really good step forward to do, like, the international uh, stuff with, like, uh, I know there was France, I know there was, like, Korea, and, like, all those countries were really nice. That was a very nice event as, like, a first one, a first step forward. But now, after this, they're trying to do, like, this whole league thing with, like, buy-ins from NFL teams and stuff. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. So, I want to hear what you guys think in the comment down below. Please let me know. Uh... I think Blizzard is really doing a mistake, and I feel like investors as well are just putting money into it without even thinking, and for me, that's really, really scary. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.